The best part about being a woman is that I am voluptuous. She's a man, baby, yeah! Definitely a man! Muscles are bulging out! I think it might be a man. This one I'm kind of confused about. I mean, if you can't tell when you're wearing bathing suits, you might as well go home. I think it's a man, maybe in an operation thing. This is definitely a woman because she's got no gut. She's rounded, more rounded. Kiss me, baby. Uh, she's a woman, she's really scaring me. Man or woman? <laughs> You all are so wrong. I've hugged and kissed two people I should have never done. <laughs> Okay, everybody, now, today's show revolves around one simple question. You all think you're so smart. You think you can tell a man from a woman. Can a man ever be as glamorous as a woman? We have 13 beautiful women on our show today, only the catch is that some of them are actually men. Now, do you think you're going to be able to tell the difference? I mean, you think you know how to different, tell the difference between a man and a woman, don't you? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to try to find out whether you really know or not. Because we have some beautiful women. First up, let's get started. Everybody, here's the lovely divinity, man or woman. Maury, the best part of being a woman is knowing that the world's a stage and I'm the leading lady. Oh. Who is that? Man or woman? Who is that? A man. That's a man? Yeah. How do you know? I don't know. It just looks kind of... What, what? How do you know? Because... Because I think, what? I think, her, I think her face is kind of the too perfect. Chiseled? Too yeah. perfect? Yeah. So it has to be a man? Yeah. A woman can't have a perfect face? It just looks like... Oh, my Lord. Huh? Yeah. I can't believe all that. What do you think it is? A man or a woman? It's a woman. It's a woman? It's a woman. Why? She just... Her form, it's her form. Oh, okay, it's okay. Everybody, please welcome Shelby. Here's Shelby. The best part about being a woman is that I will never have to carry my own luggage. And a woman. That's a woman. That's a woman? Yeah. Just look at her. Do you see anything that gives it away? It looked like an Adam apple. I don't know. You look, now you don't know, do you? Uh, kind You're looking of. at Adam's apples. You're looking at foreheads. Here's the lovely Lolita. Lolita. The best part about being a woman is that I am voluptuous and deliciously luscious. She's a man, baby, yeah! I think that's a man? She's a man, look at her! Why? I think, I think she walks like a woman. I'm gonna have to go with the man on that one. So? She's a man, baby, oh. yeah! Next up is Kelly. Kelly, come on out here! The breast, I mean, the best part about being a woman? The clothes, of course, the clothes. There you go. Tina, come on out. Hello, hey, everybody. The best part about being a Hawaiian woman, Maury, is you can always get laid. Oh. Man or woman? I can't say a woman. That's a woman. Yeah. Oh. She thinks that's a woman. By the way. And by the way, 
Nice looking shoulders too, right? Here's a beautiful and exotic Roxanne. The best part of being a woman is that I can rough up any man. The man. Here's Maya. Come on out, Maya. The best thing about being a woman is having the power to bring any man to his knees. What do you think? I think that's a woman. You do? Yeah. Why do you think that's a woman? She walks to walk like a woman. You walk like a woman, you talk like a woman. She's a woman. She's a woman. Thank you. Here's Chelsea. Chelsea, come on out. The best part about being a woman is being able to turn on any man's siren. Here's Marie. Marie, come on out. Being a woman, Maury, is having the energy to cause an explosion anywhere I go. Woo! All right. It's definitely a man. Look at his muscles. They're bulging out. Well, wait a minute. You don't think women go into the gym and like body Look at her chest. It's like, out there. I'm going to remember your face when we find out what the deal is. Here is Dore. Here's Dore. Maury, the best part about being a woman is being able to sass with class, having every man wanting to kiss my, well, you know. All right, everybody, please welcome Sierra. thing about being a woman is getting everything I want without having to ask for it. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you're, you're kind of confused on this one, aren't you? I think it might be a man. It might be? It could be. It could be either one. I mean, do you think you would go through life saying, I think it might be a man, it might be a woman? I think it's a man. Oh, okay. I'll remember you. Here's <laughs> Tiffany. Tiffany, come on out. The best part of being a woman is being able to give you just enough to leave you begging for more. I'm not sure. You're not? <laughs> Did you think ever in your life you would sit here on national television and when it comes to distinguishing a man and a woman, you say, I'm not sure? Uh, no, I never thought I would be here. <laughs> yes, I didn't think so. Thank you very much. Here's Katrina. Katrina, come on out. The best thing about being a woman is that I never had to pay the rent. Thank you. Great do, by the way. There they are, our 13 beauties. Don't touch that dial. The bathing suit segment is next.
you can't tell when you're wearing bathing suits, you might as well go home. My best quality is my height. It enables me to search, seek, and destroy. This one I'm kind of confused about. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we begin to reveal and, and put on the Atkins done. Secrets. So we have beautiful women on the show today. Only the twist is some of them are actually men. I think you're going to be able to tell when our guests are wearing bathing suits? I mean, if you can't tell when you're wearing bathing suits, you might as well go home. <laughs> Show them what you got, Divinity. Here's Divinity. Maury, my best quality is my cute body. Want to reach out and grab it? Come on. You don't know now. You're thoroughly confused. I'm and confused. look, we, there's I'm not confused. much else we could have taken off. I know. Woo. Come I on. Think, I think it's a man. Maybe in an operation thing. In an operation thing? Yeah. What's that mean, an operation <laughs> thing? Because oh, an operation thing. You know? An upper operation or a lower operation? Low. Lower, I see. Here's Shelby. Shelby, come on out. My best quality is my height. It enables me to search, seek, and destroy. Girl. It's a girl. That's a girl. Oh, yes. That's a girl. Yep. Yeah. And if it's a boy. Well, then I'll feel dumb. But she's got a girl's stomach. Well, I, you, wait, wait, let's thing. go back. You'll feel dumb. Yeah, if it's a man, then I'll. But I think it's a girl. You can't figure it. It's, it's got to be a girl. There's no stomach there. There's <laughs> no, no beer pack. belly there. No six pack, though. I mean. There's nothing. No six pack, nothing. Lolita, come on out. <laughs> My best quality is my heart, because it long, belongs to you, Maury. It's a man. Why? A woman don't walk like that. Okay, fine. Here's Kelly. Kelly, come on out. Just one. The way she carries herself. You can tell, yeah, right? Of course. Of course you can tell. Sure. Just the way she carries herself. Here's Roxanne. Roxanne, come on out. My best quality are my arms. All the better to squeeze you with Maury. Here is Maya, Maya. My best quality is my hair. You want to run your fingers through it? I think that she, she may be a man. She may be a man. Yeah. You think she may be a man? I think she is, man. Okay. Here's Chelsea. Chelsea, come on out. My best quality is my little bitty nose. No plastic surgery here, Maury. Here's Marie. Marie. Come on out, Marie. is my smile. I got to charm any man. Like you, Maury. Oh, that's a man. That's a man. You've said that before. Yes, You're convinced? So last time she came out, you said it was a man. She's just a muscle. She's 
Just nothing yeah. but muscle. Yeah. Okay. Dore. Please welcome Dore. My best quality are my luscious lips because they're very kissable. <laughs> ah! You want to kiss tomorrow? Sierra, let's see Sierra, come on out. My best quality are my eyes. They're the window to my soul. Here's Tiffany, Tiffany. My best quality is my strength. I can bend any man to my will. Why is that a man? Stand right up, tell me, quickly. I don't Qu like the shoes. <laughs> You didn't like the bathing suit on one? You don't like the shoes? The shoes don't match. They'd be nice with like a dress, but the shoes don't match. I see. Okay. And finally, the lovely Katrina. Hello, Maury, darling. My best quality is my international charm because I have many men in several ports. Thank you. Oh, very good. I love your do. I love her do. When we come back, we begin to reveal and peel away the secrets when we come back next. But even then, he... Okay. So we brought to the show today 13 beautiful ladies, and some of them are actually men. We're not even going to give you the count. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know, 50-50 something. I just don't know. But they've changed their incredible casual wear, and to help us describe the outfits is our fashion expert today, an old friend of ours, Stephen Perfidia. Stephen, nice to have you with us. Hey, Maury, nice to be back. Thank you. All right, now let's describe these outfits and maybe it'll give people more of a clue as to what these people are in terms of gender. Here's Divinity. Divinity, come on out. Yeah, Divinity is giving you a lady's power suit. Oh, this yeah. This beautiful black and white. Very classic. Very nice. Here's yeah. Shelby. Shelby, come on out. Oh, Shelby looks gorgeous. She's got a beautiful silver jacket on and the velvet pants. She's kind of doing this real sexy, sporty look. Right. And that's just going to reveal her. Yeah. Her and I tell you, yeah, there you go. Hot green. She's got And that. this is, I mean, as one person said in the audience, this is definitely a woman because she's got no gut. <laughs> she's got There's no six-pack belly there, boy. Yeah, and the little yeah. tummy shirt shows it all off. Here is Lolita. Lolita. Lolita told me earlier that she loves RuPaul and she fashions herself after that. And she's also got this gorgeous 60s look and the fringe. It sets off her figure nicely. Oh, the 60s look is back. I think that's a woman right there. I think that's a man. She's got us all fooled. Here's Kelly. Kelly, come on out. Yeah. Kelly is wearing a Terry Mugler suit with this gorgeous hemline. It's very avant-garde. She's got a gorgeous look. She reminds me of Jerry Hall. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she does look a little bit like Jerry. She's a gorgeous Southern beauty. Very nice. Okay, here is Dina. Dina, come on out. <laughs> Dina's our beautiful woman from Hawaii, and she's wearing kind of a Bob Mackie sort of look. Beautiful black beads and nice ladies' uh, pants there. Right. Here is Roxanne. Roxanne, come on out. Beautiful red little dress there, beaded jacket. That's definitely a man. She tries to work it too hard. She's working it too hard. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so her style is a mannish style. Here's Maya. Come on out, Maya. Maya's wearing a beautiful green, shocking green 
two-piece pantsuit. And here is our next guest. Here's Chelsea. 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 Wow. Yeah, wow. she's mixing the power suit with the showgirl look. I think she looks incredible. And Marie. Come on out, Marie. That's your man. Yeah. That's your man. It's a manly body. Uh, you know something? I'm looking at you, and you're less sure of you uh, of yourself now than you were two minutes ago. That's a man. It's a man. It's a man. Most not to be. Well, I don't. She's just look. Okay, <laughs> okay, we'll find out. All right, Dore. Look at Dore. Dore's wearing a gorgeous black and white suit with that peplum that just shows off her figure, honey. Oh, good. And here is Sierra. Sierra. Sierra looks so gorgeous. This is like a. What is she not wearing? Looks like something Josephine Baker would wear. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Here's Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany is also giving us the SM look. The mini skirt with the beautiful line that follows there, the belly button to show off her jewelry. You know what I like? I like the ankle bracelet. Right, now the shoes match. There you go. <laughs> and finally we have everybody, Katrina. 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 Oh, Katrina's so over the top. Now she's actually giving you her casual wear. She's got the beautiful checkered suit and the mini skirt to show off those legs, honey. There she goes. All right, isn't that terrific? All right, now thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you very much. Okay, now. Now, everybody, we are going to start to reveal some of our marvelous ladies. Here is a picture, everybody, show on the screen, a picture of one of my guests before she started living as a woman. Which one? Would the person who matches that picture please step forward? Well, no. <laughs> He spoke too fast. Yeah, Victoria had a short, short of secret. Yeah, that's right. Wow, Chelsea, tell us about yourself. I grew up a little boy, a little yeah. farm boy from Kentucky, and moved to Indianapolis, Indiana, where I'm a showgirl at Club Cabaret now. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. And here is, here is a picture of one of my guests as she grew up, a little girl. Look at the picture and pick the person out. Look at it. Here? You think it's this one? You think it's she? Would that person please step forward? Four. All right. You got it? Yes. You got it? Yes. I don't believe you. Very good. Tiffany, tell us about yourself. Born and raised and still a girl. Yeah. I am six foot two. <laughs> Women can be tall. I'm six foot two, still a girl. Very good. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tiffany. Now, two of our girls are going to display their amazing talents. We're going to reveal more of our ladies right after this. She's me. She's she's really scaring me. One of my guests grew up a boy. So you think it's either two or four? Man or woman? Oh my! For free. So our ladies are going backstage to change into their most glamorous evening gowns, and in the meantime. We have two of our ladies displaying their incredible talents. First up, the very talented and lovely Dina, accompanied by Alan Bennett. Dina? Cigarette holder, that wakes me. Over his shoulder, I think he takes me. I'll cotton my satin dog. 
Where shall we go? Out skipping, careful amigo. I think you're flipping. Speak Latin. He's my satin dog. I know he's nobody's fool, so I'll play it as cool as can be. I'll give him a try. I ain't for no guy telling me kiss me, baby. Telephone numbers Well, you know Two and my rumbas With Uno And that My Satin doll oh, And that He's my Satin doll Next up, somebody with high energy. Here is Marie with a big performance you won't forget. Marie. Talented beauties. Was the lovely, talented Dina who sang to me born a man or a woman? Man. Man. Dina, reveal yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Dina. I will always be my mother's son. <laughs> fooled me. Wow, fooled me. I was born in Hawaii. I live in Atlanta now. And I work three jobs. I'm a bartender at Backstreet. I sing in a jazz club. Very good mm -hmm. singer. For you. Come down and see me. Thank you very much. And also on Sundays, I do that 70s drag show at Blake's. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Come down here. Now they come on down here. These people have been saying Marie is a man for the last 40 minutes. Marie, born a man or a woman? I'll let, you, I'll let my husband tell you. <laughs> come on up here. 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 There's a... Me. Are you embarrassed? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Very good, Marie. Congratulations to you. When we come back, we're going to give you another look at our remaining guests. Will you be able to tell who was born a man, who was born a woman? I've been confused. Half our audience has been confused. We have lots of surprises. Stay with us. One of my guests grew up a boy. So you think it's either two or four? Man or woman, Kelly. You all are so wrong. Man or woman? Oh, my. So we brought 13 beautiful women to our show today. Only some of them are actually men. Now, we're going to give you one more look at our remaining nine guests. Everybody, first up is Divinity. Come on out, Divinity. You think she's a woman? Here's Shelby. Shelby, come on out. Now, who is the one? No, who is the one who talked to me about the stomach? Did you talk to me about that stomach? That has to be all woman, right? That's there's no stomach there, no beer belly, nothing. 
Okay, here's Lolita. Lolita, you think that's a man? Forget you, it's a woman. Here's Lolita. Woman. 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 Man. Woman or man? Those two are man in the end, I know. Yeah, you think so, don't you? Yeah, well, you don't know. Here's Kelly. Kelly, come on out. Wow. Look at Kelly. Isn't that great? Here's Roxanne. Roxanne, come on out. Show everybody how good you look. You think that's a woman? That's a woman. Man. You say man, she says woman. Here's Maya. Maya, come on by here. Let's see what you have, Maya. Dore, come on out, Dore. And here, everybody, is Sierra. Sierra, why don't you come on out and show everybody whether you're a man or a woman? And finally, everybody, the woman with the best hairdo today, Katrina. Come on out, Katrina. Here's a picture of one of my guests as she grew up a boy. Who is it? Take a look. Wow, which one? Would the person in that picture please come forward? Very good. Very good. Sierra, tell us about yourself. Hi, Mari. I'm Sierra Nicole from Dallas, Texas. And unfortunately, I was born a man. Okay, thank you very much. Well, it seems that you're changing all of that. Now we're down to eight. When we come back, four more secrets to be revealed. You'll never forget one of these reveals when we come back right after this. Man or woman, Kelly? You all are so wrong. I hugged and kissed two people I should have never done. <laughs> I want Shelby, Kelly, Maya, and Katrina, if they could step forward, okay? If they could all step forward. It's in there. Now, I want to tell everybody that there are both men and women up here. But there's a twist to this segment and this little picture here. Here is a picture of one of my guests who grew up a boy. Take a look. Take a look, everybody. Would the person in that picture... Please reveal himself or herself. Himself. <laughs> Katrina. Uh, Katrina, you were born where? Grew up how? I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and I have a very supportive and loving family who, who supports me all the way through this transition. And now I currently reside in Orlando, Florida, doing shows there. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Now, which, now where's Maya? You Maya? Hi, Maya. How are you? I'm good. Now, everybody, Maya born a boy or a girl? Girl. Girl. Everybody thinks girl. Maya, reveal yourself. Shh. I was born biological male. A boy. You all are so wrong. Now, let's move on to Kelly. Man or woman, Kelly? Man? Woman. 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 Kelly? Uh-huh. Man or woman? I was born a male. Very good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Maury. Appreciate it. So, Shelby's got to be a woman, right? I said there were men and women in this segment, right? And we've done all men, right? So Shelby's a man. Confirm it. I am a woman. Oh, my God! <laughs> wow! Well, I mean, I'm a woman now. What does that mean? 
What does that mean? Well, that means I flew overseas and got rid of... Well, I don't like to leave my problems hanging, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's the whole, it's the full deal. Kapow. The full thing. Everything. Wow. <laughs> we'll be right back after this for our remaining women. I hug and kiss two people I should have never done. Man or woman. You all are so wrong. Are you a man? I want to ask Divinity, Lolita, Roxanne, and Dore to come forward. Okay? These F4, we come for? All right. Now, I want to tell you that there are both boys and girls up here, and we're trying to figure out who is who. Here's a picture of one of my guests as a young man. Let's take a look at that person right there. Who do you think it is? Okay. So obviously you all think it's either one, two, three, or four. That's great. Yeah. Would the person in that picture reveal himself? Oh, wow. How about that? Terrific. Isn't that nice? So who are you? Where are you from? I'm DeRay Saunders. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, and I work at a club called Metropolis. Fine. Thanks a lot, DeRay. Appreciate it. Now, here is... A picture of one of my guests as she grew up, a little girl. Look at that picture. Look at that guitar. So you think it's two. Would the person in the picture please come forward? Now. Here's a little surprise. Tell everybody your real name. My name is Vita. And tell and everybody. I was born a girl. Yes, and Vita, tell everybody where you work. I work for the Maury Show. <laughs> <laughs> Vita works in the editing room at our show. Thanks so much, Vita. Appreciate it. Now we're down to two guests, Divinity and Roxanne. So let's start with Divinity. And I know there were a lot of people out there who thought that Divinity absolutely was the best-looking, curvaceous woman you ever... Look at this guy back here still going, absolutely. Come on down here. Come here. Come here. Come on down here real fast. Come on down here. Come on down here. Divinity, reveal yourself to this gentleman. I was born a uh, male. Looks can be deceiving, can't they? All right. Tell everybody what's your name and where you're from. My name is Divinity. I reside in Tampa, Florida, where I work at the Pleasure Dome in historic Ybor City. Very good. Thank you very much. And finally, we have Roxanne. Man or woman? Man, 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 man. Roxanne, tell everybody who you are, where you're from. Well, there's a picture of me. Okay. As uh, normally dressed. Yeah. That's my normal wear. Right. But there's also a picture of me growing up. What? That's me. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. 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 Terrific. A little double reveal. Was that the best? Thank you, Roxanne. I appreciate that. What are you doing now? Well, everything in my life is male. What I do, I work for a utility company. I'm also a professional boxer. And I live here in New York City. Okay, thanks so much. Appreciate it. I want to thank uh, Stephen Perfidia and all of his hairstylists. We want to thank Julie DeRoach for providing some of the gowns that you've seen from her, from her JS collection. And Simpson and Turner Flores for the lovely flowers we had today. I want to thank all of my guests. I want to thank my audience. We've had a lot of fun today. Thank you very much, everybody. Until next time, America. 
The Banks have a Halloween party, and Will Cinderella shows up on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air today at 4:30 here on TV 12. Oh, <laughs>